I'm Judy Satori. With this song, Pleiadian Blessings, I welcome you to the light of a new day on earth. This Regenesis transmission is from Source, Spirit, God. It's energy words of new creation to usher in a new beginning for humanity and our entry into galactic civilization. A new year, a new beginning. Hi everyone, this is Judy Satori. January 2018 is a special month of new beginning. It is not only a new beginning for the year that lies ahead, but a new beginning and a new cycle of ascension. Just to clarify, ascension does not mean going up, or going anywhere for that matter. Ascension is an expansion into more of the true authenticity of the soul, and an upgrade of what it is to be a human being living on planet Earth. This upgrade is both physical and to do with consciousness expansion. But it has to start with the physical body because our physical bodies need to be prepared to be as a conductor for ever-increasing energies of regenesis, which in itself means new beginning. So let's discuss what these new energies streaming to Earth in 2018 might mean for us. I have spoken quite often about an energy source of new creation for Earth and humanity, for all life on Earth really, called El Sa Om. El means God. Sa means ascended or expanded. Om means peace, unity, oneness. This frequency called El Sa Om is not really a location. Even when I say that the energy is coming from the heart center of 22 galaxies configured together in the form of a multidimensional diamond, the energy is not coming from El Sa'om. The energy is El Sa'om. It is energy of all that is, the unified matrix of God's creation as it pertains to the 22 galaxies. The words of new creation for the human people on earth, us, that God has created, is the energy to take us through a process of metamorphosis. It's divinely designed and orchestrated. But we should remember that there are many mansion worlds in God's kingdom. What this means is that there are many other planets and star systems throughout our Milky Way galaxy and throughout the universe beyond on which physical life exists. These physical beings were created by the same God creation energy that created us. So 2018 very much marks our entry point into galactic and multigalactic civilization and awareness. And we see this information coming out through the media in news stories right now at this time. Really, absorbing the concept that we are not alone here on Earth as human beings and we are part of a much bigger creation matrix than we have thought possible, is very relevant now. My purpose in 2018 is to get this more expanded message out into the world and to prepare people physically to be able to handle the massive and ever-strengthening energies that are part of the human ascension process. To truly step into being multigalactic and to open ourselves into new concepts and beliefs, we have to be able to physically integrate the energy that will make this new awareness and new, more expanded consciousness possible. But we need to feel it, to experience the changes within ourselves. It's all very well me talking about it. You need to feel it. So don't take my word for all this. Just listen and allow. Allow the energy of God's words of new creation to transform you. There is nothing more that you need to do besides listen. The energy will do the work. You should listen to each full moon regenesis transmission three times over the course of the month 
to gain the full effects of this work with spirit. And if you are picking this up at some later date, and it's not January the 2nd, 2018, then just take this piece and listen three times. This sets the energy because the pyramid is a creative figure. Times three. In 2018, keep listening to the transmissions every month. The energy being transmitted will get a lot stronger. If your body is not ready to handle the energy, you could experience temporary 24 to 48 hours of detoxification symptoms as your body goes through a process and a release of stuck lower vibrational energy, which is usually from past life trauma. You might experience fatigue, aches, mild nausea, and other sensations in the body. Drink lots of water, do some fast walking, and rest if you feel tired. It's normal to feel tired at times during this ascension and metamorphosis process. You're not sick. However, as the year progresses, you are much more likely to feel better and better as your physical body adjusts and begins to transform. As I have said, this increasingly powerful energy is El Sa'om, of God, related to ascension, the switching on of human capacity, ability, and physical regeneration, going beyond healing to regenesis, and universal oneness and peace. This energy has only been able to stream to Earth since January 2017. And now with the two supermoons of January 2018 on the 2nd of January and the 31st of January, is to be expanded and advanced. And it's God's plan that this happens now. There's a group of high-level beings who work together to hold and calibrate this energy. I think of this co-creative force as the Council of El Sa'om. These beings exist in a place called Beyond the Beyond, Beyond this Galaxy, Beyond the 22 Galaxies of the Multigalactic Diamond. They exist within an interdimensional space similar to another interdimensional space that is within the Earth called a Menti. A menti is like the heartbeat or the energy pulse within Earth itself. The energies of a menti calibrate, refine, and hold Earth's energy frequency patterns. It's like the heart beating within us. A menti is a powerful regenerative force for our human physical selves. But for us to access a menti requires a shift in our vibrational frequency. If you consider this in physical terms, it's like a disintegration of our physical body and then a reintegration and a reformation of the body, like time and dimension travelling. I wrote about this in Sunshine Before the Dawn in my book when Essayenia travelled in the Travelator from the star Antares back to Sirius and then Lyra and her body was disassembled into light and put back again. When we travel to a menti, our physical body does not disintegrate and get put back together again. We travel there to a menti through an interdimensional gateway into another time and space vibration. The purpose of our going to a menti at this time is to receive access to information and energy that has been kept hidden and veiled from humanity for a very long time. It's quite simply not been the time to access this information and energy before. But now, in January 2018, it is. When we receive this information and the energies and activations that go along with it, it is imprinting the energy and information into the cellular structure and the DNA of our bodies. This will spark the changes that occur physically, emotionally, mentally, on on all levels. We're being supported by Mother Earth through this ascension process. And we're also coming home to our own authentic self. The energies of Elsa Om, which are streaming to Earth now and in the future, 
will become more potent and have a stronger effect on us. Get out in nature and connect to the earth, our mother. Each of us is unique. There is a reason for all of this going on for us and for the earth at this time. And it's time for us to step more fully into what we are here to do. If you don't know what this is, then maybe until now you haven't been ready and maybe it hasn't been the right time. Many people are being awakened to their more expanded soul truth in 2018. It's part of a process that's meant to occur. And for this process to occur, it only takes the willingness, which is your spoken word that you want this to happen out loud, of what you wish to bring forth and create with gratitude and the belief that you are a creator as you were created by the divine creator, God. Mikili kishta na malakose disia akola si na medekole sechta ko na malaka liko si te si na medekola khasach sto siki akali ki sada ko na medeki sada sto na malaki akoko ki sala ki si di sto na malakoya akaze de ki si de ki si de na medeki sala koya eki ki 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 de bi de ku ku sala khasach sto akako ki saka eki lastia And as you speak the words of what you wish to create, and it can be as simple as, I wish to align with divine will for my life and do what I've come to the earth to do, the energy will do the rest. All you need to do is listen, trust, and allow. These energy words now are to prepare you on this first full moon of 2018, the first of the two supermoons of January 2018, for the new in all aspects of your life. The energy comes with so much love for you, with recognition and total respect for all that you have sacrificed, not only in your current lifetime, but on a soul level throughout the ages. You are to be advanced, to come into the truth of yourself, and it's time for a celebration. <laughs> A colisi says as a bocoli says to Nisia. A colake is said is done a malacolisa da car. A casa de gadabidi salacoish da car sit ya. A colla keys a dagazid is done a malacoya. A seed a sada colis and a malacolish da sa. A keys a dagabidi salacosista. A colac is done a bad good debiticalia. E see, e see, 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 see. Lesia Custone is sola Madagodis and Abadia, a little Medicolis Sella Madagodia, a la Madagodis Sadrimadi, the Madagolisia, a calab de Condisidis Atago da Seclia, a sugarly set a shantical maracosa, a little malasso, the Madagalis and Malaki, a several root of a cedical ostiki, a de Madagodis Sidiglis set a galavidicia, a sedi sedi set a galis at a cassisi, a cocker kicky kick at the Madaki kicky. A salako de bedi sedako de bedi si, a kaka de bedi kis sedaka de isia, a ston la kiza la kaza de kostiki, a messi de kosi de kisi de shti, a kaliki sedaka de bedi kisi de kostiki, a ka, a ka, a ka, a ka, a ka. January 2018 is the time of rest and renewal. Take some time out from the hustle and bustle of constantly doing. There's going to be plenty of time for doing as the year proceeds. Rest and replenish. There is so much ahead and so much love for you now. Many blessings. Amen. We're now going to journey into the new with a journey to a menti to receive the nurturing and regenerative energies for body and soul to take us into the time ahead. Some of you will have heard of the Egyptian moon god of mystery and magic, Thoth, sometimes called Toth. In myth and legend, which is story handed down from generation to generation, very often 
have strong elements of truth. Thoth was said to have taught the goddess Isis the words of power to resurrect the body of her husband Osiris when his evil brother Set had him killed. And his body was cut up into little pieces, which is a metaphor for the fragmentation of our own authentic selves. And all the body parts of Osiris were strewn the length and breadth of Egypt, which was known in those very ancient days as the land of Chem. It's no coincidence that Thoth is with us today at the full moon of January the 2nd, 2018, to usher in the year ahead. Because he is a moon god, and this is a super moon, and we're about to have some mysteries unveiled that will take us into the new. Thoth has been with me personally for a very long time. I have memories of standing with him in an Egyptian temple at the full moon feast day of Thoth, which I discovered a few years ago just incidentally happens to be my birth date in this lifetime. Thoth was an Atlantean priest king who was pivotal in helping to take the survivors of the Atlantean cataclysm to Egypt. He's also been pivotal in helping me to access and open to the various languages of light that I speak. And now he comes to speak to all of us, to take us on a very special adventure. Whether you are listening to these words now at the full moon, or whether it is at a later time, You, personally, are beginning a new path and you are being drawn to listen at exactly the right time for you. So sit in a relaxed position with your hands beside you. You can lie down if you wish. And gently cross your hands over your heart chakra or place them on your lap or by your side. Relax. And we will begin. Shut your eyes and take a couple of really deep breaths. Allow yourself to sink down into the chair or onto the bed. Your astral body and your soul body is going on a journey, a journey of new creation. And your physical self is still anchored here on earth. Imagine that Thoth is coming forward to you and taking you by the hand and gently saying to you, come with me. He comes to you now because he has an affinity with you from some time in your soul's past experience. Gwishnogida <laughs> These transmissions are a complete regeneration, recreation sequence for the year ahead and for all the years ahead. So as you have your hands crossed over your heart chakra, know that this energy is coming through the power of love. One of the things Thoth used to do when he was the priest king of Egypt and Atlantis is he used to go to this place called Amenti to regenerate and rejuvenate his physical body in that place of high energy. So we're going to go there. So as we go there with our astral self and our soul self, our physical self, which is part of this trinity of our our soul, our astral, and our physical, is going to pick up and absorb these vibrations, which are profoundly 
regenerative, recreative, and will take us beyond healing and spark new life in the body. So just hold this energy of frequency because Thoth has got you by the hand and he's taking you somewhere. So as he takes you, just visualize, imagine, and know that where he's taking you is perfect for you. In this place called Amenti, the colors are bright and pure and sparkling. They have such powerful, strong energy that at times they can be blinding to the eyes. And the vegetation that is there is incredibly abundant and vibrant with life force. In this place called Amenti, there is a stream like a magical spring of water because water is at the basis of our recreation, which is why we have to drink a lot of water. And we are constructed of 60% plus water, depending where what we're talking about in our physical bodies. So water is important to us. So Thoth is taking you now to drink of the waters of new creation. And as he walks you through this beautiful garden, look around you and see what you can see through your inner sight. Keep your eyes closed. Now you're ready for the water, the waters of transformation and regeneration to wash over you. So just put your hands palm up to absorb these energies. Iki, 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 iki. Take a deep breath. Mukushi, she said, the shell, the Malaysian, the sun, the Melacoya. She said, she said, I better go, she said, I better go, she said, she said, I better go, she said, so what this energy is doing is making it easier for your physical self to absorb the energies that are of new creation that are coming through in 2018 and to utilize these vibrations in the most optimal way for your body, your mind and your spirit. Elebada <laughs> 
Ik heb deze radige dikke 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 Es ist gerade bei der Karl, der Gulli Schaden, der bei der Karl. Er hat gerade ein Sieger bei der Gulli Schaden, der bei der Karl. Und der Gulli Schaden, der Sieger, der Gulli Schaden, der Gulli Schaden, der Gulli Schaden, der Gulli Schaden, der You can talk to him if you wish. Ask him to help you more. And now it's time for your astral self and your soul self to return to integrate once more with your physical body. Mishlia kaisia kushni zakodi sesa kushtia. Ich sehe die Lumine, ich schaue mal, wie sie sich in der Koya. Ich sehe sie sogar die Bedrohliche, die schon eine Bedrohliche ist hier. Ich sehe sie in der Bedrohliche, die schon eine Bedrohliche ist hier in der Koya. Ich sehe sie 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 in der Koya. Und als du beginnst, zu dem Jahr her, oder beginnst du für dich und für deinen Weg, You are uplifted and strengthened in the light of the all to make it easy for you to accomplish what you wish to achieve and to do it with ease and grace and most importantly, happiness and joy. Life should be easy, not hard. Begin today. All is well. All is well. All is well. The third part of this full moon transmission is a meditation, but it's also a teaching process about soul expansion. And advancement. When I say soul expansion, what I really mean is a greater appreciation for the inherent truth, capacity, and potential within your soul's DNA memory, the Akashic records of your soul. When we come into physical incarnation from lifetime to lifetime, the energy imprints of soul memory and experience become part of us our physical human selves, and our current life. Who we know ourselves to be is so much more than our personality self, our appearance, whether we're male or female, or our ethnicity. Our human DNA is received from our parents and our ancestral line, but it is the imprint of our soul DNA that sets a template for who we really are and activates the true potential of who we really are and is the recipe for the expression of our truth. The activation or coming forth of what is our destiny plan for our life is set by the soul. We don't really have to do anything. Just like our physical DNA code, everything happens as programmed by this genetic imprint of the soul. The only thing that we have to do is to be true to the self and to do what it is that we need to do to be happy and well and feel connected to our intuition. So many people in our world today are not happy and well for so many reasons, most of them to do with survival issues. As we go through life, we learn that happiness is a state of mind that we can create ourselves. 
It begins as the Buddha taught, with non-attachment to whatever the drama of life throws at us, of intentionally cultivating happiness and doing the small things each day that bring us joy, of intentionally seeking beauty in the world around us and recognising it when we see it. The other day, as I was walking through the native forest here in New Zealand, a white dove came down onto my path. It just stood there watching me and it didn't fly away. I felt that the white dove was bringing a message to me in the darkness of the forest to bring to all of you. A message from God, Spirit, of peace and plenty in the year ahead. And to know that we are never alone on our path. So today, Spirit wants to teach us about loving acceptance for what is. Not begging, beseeching or demanding. Just being grateful for the small things of life with the positive expectancy that more of the small things that contribute to our being happy and well will be added unto us. As I transmit this energy to support our opening to the new, a more expanded expression of who we are, as a physical person and as an eternal soul. I want you to sit quietly in meditation. And as I speak the words, scan your mind for the good in your own life. You may have experienced in 2017 or before. And give thanks for more of that good coming to you in 2018. Later you can scan this and write it all down. So as we begin this year now of 2018, or whenever you wish to begin a new cycle in your life, as I speak the words and talk about the qualities of life that we want to usher in and create in the year ahead, scan back in your mind over the past 12 months for this quality showing up in your life, see whether it has, and consciously ask that more of this quality or this blessing or this gift of life, might be added unto you, and so it will be. And if you can't locate any memory related to a quality that I speak about, just imagine how it might be for you in the year ahead if you had more of this quality, more of this energy coming to you. And give thanks, and know that what you are giving gratitude for with positive expectancy is generating this energy to manifest in your life. So let's begin. As I discuss an aspect of creation, I will pause while you scan back over the past 12 months and see how this impact has been for you. Then I'm going to speak words, and I want you to add your gratitude as I speak these, their light language words, but you add your own words of gratitude, that more of this particular energy is added unto you, and visualize the way you yourself want it to be manifested. So the first thing is love of self. Scan back now over the past year when you have felt really good about yourself, glowing and radiant and abundant of grace. Just scan. Doesn't matter how you phrase the words. It's the intention and the emotion behind the words of gratitude and memory and a reconnection with the energy that you felt at those times. Love of self. The next thing is happiness in your home, security of hearth and home, a nurturing, welcoming environment in which to live. Just scan. Scan for the good things. 
focus on the good things about this and then visualize the way you would like it to be. Schleck ich sehen, weil er küsst die Sache gut licht in ja. Ich sieh das, er weil er gut licht die Schöne kor. Ach, kann lack ich sie die Stöße, ich sehe aber gut licht die Schöne sie. Ich kick ich da bitte gut gut ist, er licht dann mal kor. Ich kick es an, stärker mit Team mit Team mit dir. In our abundance in all things. Not necessarily to be rich, to be wealthy but to be wealthy in health and happiness with enough financial support to meet your physical day-to-day needs. Just scan. Give gratitude. And visualize to integrate and create a firm foundation. Mich liegt, ich sehe das andere Loch, ich sehe. Ich mein sehr Loch, ich sehe die Sterne mit der Kie. Ich sehe die Kollege, ich sehe die Sonne mit Kollege der Kuhie. Ich sehe die Kranen ja so. Aber da geht's Loch, da bin ich schon hier, sehr Loch, ich sehe. Ich sehe die Kollege, ich sehe die Sterne mit der Kuhie. Aka, 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 aka. Now we have grace, beauty, softness, and serenity. To be nurtured by the forces of nature and by the earth. To walk in beauty. And to have time to connect with soul and self. Scan. We're scanning for the good times. giving gratitude. And we're visualizing more of it how we want it to be. And now to deeply feel and experience true love. Love of self. Love of family and friends. And the heartfelt love if you desire it with a significant other, a life partner to walk with you on life's journey. Scan. Give thanks. Visualize. The next process is to connect through heart, mind and spirit with all souls upon the earth and to send blessings and to offer material support, kindness, compassion and love without expectation in return, but knowing that as we give, so we will receive. Scan. Gratitude. Visualize. (laughs) 
Ich habe das Gefühl, dass ich das Gefühl habe, 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 And relax even deeper and take a deep breath. Now we want to scan for the times in 2017 when you have felt fulfilled and passionate about your work. Give gratitude and visualize for the new in 2018 to feel fulfilled and passionate about your work, to feel excited and happy to wake up each new day, to co-create with life in a way that gives you meaning and adds value to those around you. Aka, aka. To express the true purpose of your soul coming into human life through your thoughts, words and actions every day. Scan. Give gratitude. Visualise. When you visualize, feel deeply how you wish to feel, expressing the true purpose of your soul coming into human life through your thoughts, words, and actions every day. In the final piece, to be happy and well, to radiate and express a new physical vitality and energy that is way beyond what you may have experienced in your life until now. To have your body come to reflect the thoughts about it that you hold within your mind. So see yourself as beautiful. And you are. Be happy and be well every day in your year ahead. This teaching process and meditation can be listened to much more than three times. 
Use it as a template to begin a new expression of yourself and to create a wonderful future and a very happy life. Amen. Amen.